here we go again. In less than two weeks, we have yet another upgrade from Yolobox Pro. What's new in the Yolobox Pro version 1.0.8? First one, monitor mode. You can now use Yolobox Pro only as a monitor and switcher without having to connect the internet or create an event. Hey Tom, this is for you. Who's Tom? Okay, second one. Comments overlay styling like StreamYard. Wow, we. The third one. Streaming mode is now defaulted as direct single platform stream. Let's tap on OK. It's upgrading now. Yeah, very fast. Okay, please wait patiently for the upgrade. All right. And it's back on. Woo! That's fast. Less than 15 seconds. So now when I power up the Yolo Box Pro and press the plus button to start a new stream, I see these two buttons. Create a live stream and a monitor mode. So let's tap on the new monitor mode. That brings me straight to the control panel without preparing for a new live stream. I noticed something in the menu. The Platform sharing tab and the comments tabs are turned off. In the settings tab, streaming mode option is also turned off. That means now I can use the Yolobox Pro as a video switcher and a monitor for on-location events presentation. Hmm, I thought I could do that all along. If we go back to the front page and select create a live stream, we will see our usual stream preparation page. So I've created a new live stream and now I want to check the streaming mode, which is now defaulted to direct single platform stream. Does that mean if I don't change it, I can't stream to my three locations? Let's try it. I have activated YouTube as one of my platform. And if I also want to activate Facebook, I can't. I will get this message. The message says the current version of the... Anyway, it says the single platform mode does not support Facebook. What about Twitch? It says something too. There can only be one distribution task in the direct push mode. So if I turn off YouTube and turn on Facebook, I can't get in. What about Twitch alone. Yes, it's possible. So in the single platform mode, I either go to YouTube or Twitch, not RTMP, not Facebook. For me, the Yolobox Pro is for multi-platform streaming. I'm going back into the settings, streaming mode, and switch back to using Yolo Live's multi-streaming service. Okay, and now I'm ready to stream to my three favorite platforms. This is the time to check the new comment overlay. I see a new settings button in the top right hand corner. In the comment settings, I see three templates which I can choose from. Let's choose the first one. Immediately, I can see the comment template which I can move around. I also have the options to change the username font to any font I like. Okay, from all the way from Arimo to Ziku Kuale. Okay, let's do Oswald. Tap on OK. Then I can change the username color, maybe gray. Tap OK. And I can change the username background color. Okay, I like green. Okay, okay, username change back to white. Yeah, and now comments font. I can change again to any font I like. Let's just choose Comforta. Say okay. Well, it looks interesting. And now our comment color, leave it as white. Okay, background, leave it as black. And then Transparency, I can, oops, comment color, go back to white. Okay, transparency of the background, I can vary the transparency.
transparency. Okay, let's leave it about 30%. And then, okay, I don't like this font. Let's change it to uh, PD Sans, a more official looking font. Maybe transparency a little bit more, 50%. And scale, I can change the size. Yes, yes. Let's see if I can move it to the right. No, nope. I can only move it up and down. Even though if I scale it to the smallest, I can move it up and down, but not left and right. Okay, in that case, then I would rather have it at its largest okay, to fit the screen right at the bottom. Okay, this is what I will use, right? So this is the new comments overlay in Yolo Box Pro version 1.0.8. Tap on done. So now I'm live on three platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. But right now we can only see comments from YouTube or Facebook. So I'm going to, going to experiment with Facebook. Okay, I'm gonna type in my own comment. Okay. I say this and I'm gonna send it send watch it's gonna come all right so that's my comment and if I want that comment to appear on the display I just have to tap on the flag button there you go it's so tiny it's too tiny. I thought I made, made it the biggest. So let me go into the comment settings back here. Yeah, it's the biggest. So let's scale it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overshoot. Tap on done. Switch this off and switch this on again. It's still so tiny. The username, that's myself. And a comment. Okay, with a little Facebook icon in there and my profile picture. So now I have a real comment from someone else. Okay, KNR fan. Okay, he says, Your editing is amazing, sir. So let me put his comment onto the screen by pressing the flag button. There you go. So this is what we get for version 1.0.8 kudos to yolo live yes keep adding new features to our yolo box and yolo box pro okay it's getting more and more exciting right if you're watching this and if you have any comments leave them down below if you have any questions throw them to yolo live and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends this is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.